Hey, and welcome to Esther's Gardening Adventures. I'm Esther, and tonight I'm going to be unboxing or opening a package that I received from a fellow YouTube, a fellow homesteading YouTube channel called Morris Patch of Heaven. I um, I won one of their T-shirts on one of their live live events, but their T-shirt was a size medium and. I'm not a size medium, nor is my husband, even though it was so cute. So they sent me, I think, seeds instead. And here's the package. So I'm gonna open it up and let's see what we got. And thank you for the package, for starters. I mean, okay, so before I go into this, if you love gardening, you know how exciting this is because getting new seeds is just so much fun. Okay. So first of all, it's such a cute little package. It has a little label that says seeds wrapped onto it. And then let's see what's first. Zinnias, ooh. I have some zinnia seeds, but I will be curious to see. These look like maybe white zinnias. So I'll be curious to see what colors these are. I'm definitely gonna grow them and I'm gonna mark them so that I know which ones they are. But zinnias, we can never have enough zinnia seeds. All right, let's see. Sugar baby watermelon, oh yeah. That is, those are, so sugar baby watermelons are these little watermelons that the um, vines only grow like three feet long. And actually I was looking at them online. Uh, last night I was looking at the Baker Creek Rare Seeds catalog and I was coveting them. <laughs> and lo and behold. Okay, what's next? Oh, yellow pear tomato seeds. Oh, so much. I actually... <laughs> It's like they're reading my mind. I actually really wanted to have some yellow pear tomatoes this year and I only have like cherry tomatoes. So I'm going to be looking forward to growing these. What's next? Oh, they're not labeled, but I think these are a type of bean. I will have to message them and find out. I think they're a type of bean, maybe white beans. Mmm, I have to ask. They probably forgot the label or else it's in here somewhere else. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, pumpkin seeds. No, I don't have any pumpkin seeds and I've been leery about trying them, but these look like pumpkin seeds that are meant to be um, for baking. So maybe I'll try that this year. Oh yeah, triple treat. And I told them I wanted more varieties of peppers as one of my goals this year. Poinsettia, oh, these are the really pretty ones that kind of like bush up. And so you have like, it's really pretty, pretty. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. I'm So I've been wanting to do a lot of container gardening and I think this is one, it says, it, uh, it says three um, inch fruits grow pointing upwards in a bouquet form that resembles a poinsettia flower. Perfect for salsa. Ooh, yes, yes. What's next? Garden beans, oh, wax beans, this is great. I have green beans and I keep looking and circling the um, the wax beans on the catalogs I have. I'm like, okay, I'll wait one more time. I'm just gonna use it the seeds I have, but now I have them. <laughs> Golden wax improved. Bush wax, oh, perfect. So they're a bush bean, which means I don't have to trellis them. Heavy yields of delicious, buttery flavored, stringless, oh, that's nice pods grow four to five uh, inches long on early bush type plants. So in average soil and full sun after danger frost. So they're, they're a warm weather vegetable like many. What's this? They're giving me a whole bunch of stuff I haven't had before and I've been eyeing leeks. I've been wanting to grow leeks forever. Nice. Very winter hardy. You know, I might... Um, start these now and let's see or i think you're supposed to start them so indoors in late winter set outdoors before last frost so yeah it's a spring plant leeks leek soup in our future oh now this is a kind of lettuce i haven't tried sanguine ameliori also from baker creek this says strawberry cabbage lettuce is another name for it oh and i can see that because it's got like the little spotted marks on it and it says 19th century French heirloom. Ooh. Introduced to America by C.C. Morris in 1906 under the name Strawberry Cabbage Lettuce. Petite cabbage or butterhead type plants. So charming with green leaves splashed in scarlet. 
this is going to be in my baby greens patch. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. And I think this is the last one. Woo! Another type of marigold. And I do not have this kind. And this looks gorgeous. Ha! Oh, spun orange marigold. So pretty. Oh, wow. And I love orange flowers. I love orange flowers so much. Extra large, attractive, super double flowers with tubular petals and pleasing clear orange 20-inch plants. Ooh, this is awesome. This is, oh, that's so pretty. Those look like huge flowers compared to normal marigolds. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Well, thank you very much, Morris Patch of Heaven. You are awesome. I love the seeds and I can't wait to try all of them. So thank you very much. All right, so this is just a short, sweet little video, um, but I do plan to do more on um, both the winter sewing process and some other gardening plans. So please check back in if you like this video. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button. And um, if you aren't already a subscriber, please consider subscribing and make sure you hit that bell button so you get alerts. And otherwise, I'll see you next time. Meanwhile, I'm going to be doing some dreaming about where to put these guys. All right. Bye.